Heather's Family Blogs. 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 Heather's Family Vlogs, The Bronx, with the city hot behind. Check it out. This is what I got so far. I got the hoodie, pullover hoodie, mugs, stickers, women's classic tee. I got face masks, all different kinds, another different mug, t-shirts, and hoodies. Check it out now. Link is in the bio. And 10% off if you put um Eddie Bird, yo. 10% off. Check out my new merch now. Available now. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Heather's here. Um, I'm in a happy and I'm like sad um just give me a second y'all um <laughs> thank you all for commenting on my video yesterday i got a lot of um comments and a lot of views so if you made it this far so far please make sure you leave me a thumbs up those thumbs up are very important to a YouTuber. Um, okay, I'm going to start off with the good news first. Then I'll go on what my doctor just called me about. Um, well, he, I just had an appointment with my doctor. You know, I tell you guys everything my whole life and stuff like that. Um, hold on, I got to blow my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, my bad. Um, good news first. They're gonna try to tr put me on what Trulicity. They're gonna put me on Trulicity. Um, for um my diabetes, he wants to put me on it because he said it will help me with the losing weight process that I'm actually trying to lose the weight. I'm trying to get fit, but I'm not trying to get skinny either. So he's gonna put. Okay, this is what it looks. Like. That's my brother. Say hi. Hey. That's what Trulicity is, y'all. And can you explain this to us, please? What you mean, explain it? Like once a week, you get do it, right? Yeah, once a week, but it's they, they four times a month. Four times a month, and you. And, uh, and all you got to do is just put it to your stomach, press the green button, hold it to it, pops in, and you're good. All right. That's the thing I'm going to be taking. This. My brother is a diabetic, so he takes it too. Now, yeah, but it helps, it helps you out. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. That's what I'm going to be taking. I'm going to be taking that. And I am going to be... No longer on HIV pills. Guys, Heather got accepted for every other month shot. It's a new um, medication that they have for um, HIV um, medicine. Um, if you are undetectable and you take very good care of yourself, you, you're able to get a shot. I, um, some people get it. I believe once a month and or every other month. I finally got accepted for that, y'all. I will no longer be taking HIV pills. It's like a miracle. You, you don't understand from someone who's been HIV positive 23 years. From taking cocktail pills in 2000s. Cocktail pills was like a handful of pills, y'all. 10 to 15 to 20 pills a day. Every day I was taking massive, massive pills. Right now I'm only on one pill. 
And that right there is a true blessing. But with the shot, I won't have to take no meds. And that right there is a better blessing. You know, I just thank God every day for always being by my side. Through everything I've been through my entire life, you know. Now, to the bad news. Well, um, I got a letter the other day. Well, last week. I have dry eyes, you know. My eyes is really bothering me today. They're very dry. I already put the drops in my eyes, but it feels like you're... It feels like sandpaper in your eyeballs. Um, I got a letter last week, but my doctor just explained it to me. Would you like to explain it to them better, babe? Don't tell them. They found something in my left breast. <clears throat> Which could be... Cancerous. <clears throat> cancerous, or it could be just a little tumor, or those... <clears throat> banjin is called. It's called banjin. All right. If people don't know what banjin is, it's a, it's a lump that women get on their breasts. Men can also get it too. All right. There are men that has gotten <laughs> breast cancer before. All right? But he but, just called me. Yeah, he just called and said that he it could be cancerous. Yeah. Well, and he didn't say it that way. He said that. In other it. words, yeah. You, you know? know. Um, guys. But I told you not to worry about it. I. Okay, because <laughs> it's. If it's that, it's curable and it's fast and it doesn't take too long. <clears throat> okay? But most likely, it's just a tumor that you have there. Because you've been having that lump for many years. All right? So that means you've been having cancer for, what, 15 years? Impossible. Okay? Aunt Cheryl had it for a long time before well, she even found out that she had you know, so breast so cancer. Saying, people with breast cancer, as I did my research, live 5 to 10, 15 years. All right? <laughs> but you have to make sure that you take your stuff you know but other than that right now she's in good health everything is good yeah if I'm, it was cancerous her t-cells would not be the way it is right now they could be because you know? i i take care of myself i don't you know? do drugs and stuff. that's what i'm saying so you're able <laughs> but, to fight anything right now okay yeah i don't know but a person that has aids can fight that it is okay? that's still uh 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 I'm still here 100 percent I know you'll always be here. Right. And as long as I'm here, you're always gonna have the upright and you're always gonna be good and you're always gonna be fine. Alright? So I know it worries you, it worries any man. I would be crying too if a father had colon cancer or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's very you know, scary. But it could compromise my um HIV. You know, so just chill out. Um, you know, just you know and Cancer, breast cancer does run in my family, you know, and now he, because he, he called me back, because, you know, I had an appointment with him, so he called me back and told me that they did find something on my left breast, so that, that, that has me very, very worried now, you know, because I really can't, like, I have so many um, problems, medical problems, you know, and oh, man, it's like, all I want to do is cry, you know, and because it's like, oh no, n not this, you know, I got so many problems. And it's just like, I might look fine. I might not look like I'm numb on my right side. I might not, you know, look like an HIV client. Like a lot of people be like, oh, you sure you're HIV positive? You don't look it. Yeah, I'm HIV 23 years. You know, I got toxoplasmosis in my brain. What are like parasites? You know, I'm numb on my right side from a major stroke. I have mud, m multiple problems. And, it's, God forbid, say if I do have breast cancer, it's going to take a lot out of me, you know? Um, no, I know. My aunt fought breast cancer in 95. And, you know, 
so I'm just worried, you know. I mean, it is what it is. It, it's, it's gonna happen. Um, you know, what happened, you know, in your head. You know, I have the appointment on Friday morning. So please pray for me, y'all. Then after that, I will find out the the results of the, um, they're going to do a mammogram and, uh, um, uh, 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 what's that called? Uh, we have it when we're pregnant for kids, um, ultrasound of my left breast. Um, so please pray, y'all. I'm crying because if it's not one thing, it's another with me. I'm just tired of having to go through problems and and I'm just tired because, like, I've been having problems my entire life. But with medical problems, I'm, I'm just so over it. Like, you don't understand the pain that I endure on a daily basis. Just sitting here making videos hurts. Um, I'm in constant pain, and I don't take any kind of pain pills. That's why I smoke a lot of weed. A lot of marijuana because it helps me with my pain, you know. And as long as I got God and Jesus in my life, that's my medicine too, you know. But please pray for me, y'all. If you made it this far, leave me a thumbs up. I'm just like, don't know what to say or do. Like, I don't know. But I do know they found something on my left breast. So, please share this video out. It will mean a lot to me. Make sure you tag me. Tag me. Put my name. Make sure you tag me the right way. And if you don't tag me, please make sure you leave me a message saying, Heather, I shared out your video. I'll go see it. And if you did, I'll give you a shout out on Fridays. But until then, um, stay blessed, y'all, for real, for real. I, I need some prayers, like, now. Um, please tell your family and your friends about Heather's family vlogs. Tell them to like, share, follow me, literally, on everything, remember. Hit that notification bell when you want to be notified when I put my brand new videos. I love each and every one of you so, so much. Without you guys, I will not be where I am at right now. I love you. God bless, and I will definitely talk to you tomorrow. Peace. God bless.